Hey everybody, welcome to Jobbox Reviews, I'm Stan, my lovely wife Tanya here again, and if you're a 40 year old white male, you're free to like, comment, and subscribe to this review of Captain Marvel. <laughs> and man, yes, we are fully aware of what's going on, everything that, you know, has been said by the lead star. Um, we don't really need to get into it, because everyone has put up some really great, yeah. um, you know, taken and comments yeah just just things in general like i mean check out star wars girl like she's got a great take on things um geeks and gamers jeremy um i think it's nerd erotic and stuff like you know john talks they've all got some really great kind of you know breakdowns of the whole situation and you know what mainstream media is kind of doing and stuff but um yeah i i'll just leave this with comments of you know, a guy or, you know, the lead person who had the keys to the kingdom off the MCU from the start carried himself really well. An interview that he had with Dave Letterman, when Letterman was trying to pump him up about the whole Charlie Sheen thing when he got fired and stuff from Two and a Half Men and his, like, you know, whatever drinking yeah. and stuff. Um, Downey Jr. didn't turn around and get pumped up and stuff. He says... Something that really makes you proud that, oh, he's the lead person to, you know, yeah. take this whole franchise. But here it is. It's, it's only a minute and a half long. So, yeah, check it out. Yeah, but see, you're the guy. You're the guy. You can call up anybody you want and say, hey, right. you, get, you get two ways to go. You can, you can continue to do it your way or right. look what I did. Look, yeah. Hey, hey, look what I did. That's a little bit but, but, Hey, wait a second. Look what I did. Okay. Um, right. Here's here's the problem. I start believing my own hype, and then I start thinking people need to listen to what I say. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, my wife is miserable, and the director goes, "He's crazy. What's wrong with this guy?" <laughs> um, and, and as far as whatever example I could say to anybody else, I mean, I think the best thing I can do is just keep the plug in the jug myself and, yeah. and stay out of trouble. Well, you know, you raise a good point. You fine. raise a good point. Good for you. And I know exactly what you're talking about. Because uh, 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 sometimes, and, and it's, it's ego, you think you can solve the problems of others. Right. And I think that what you just said, uh, by example, is better than getting in there and trying to mix it up. Well put. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that's how he carries himself really well. I think, you know, hopefully everyone else who joins the MCU you know, regardless of their gender, their color, whatever, can handle it that way. But uh, this is a review of Captain Marvel. This is two fans who love the characters, you know, and, you know, the, the buy the collector cups, you know, yeah. wear the freaking T-shirts. And just, <laughs> we really, this is summing it up from people who are fans of comics in film. Yeah. And, you know what what more is there to be said like you know black panther won academy awards and stuff and we were just so like happy so for that. Happy about that and same too with um into the spider verse won awards and stuff so we're stoked about that and yeah. this movie i can safely say you know without a doubt i wasn't the biggest <laughs> fan of it had some really fun parts in yeah. it but it had a lot that you know kind of made me cringe and go oh they really got to do that. But um, that's yeah. my kind of deal. Yeah, well, I thought it was good. I thought it was okay. It's not great. It's not perfect. It's not terrible. It doesn't suck. <laughs> you know, it's just there. It's it's a part of the universe now, and it's just fine. <laughs> I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say it sucks. I think it really just... It is made for a specific audience. Though. And, yeah, maybe that's... You know, me just not understanding it because we did see we it, it twice. twice. And just to like go into it with like block out everything that's going on, yeah. you know, and try and watch it and sum it up for what it is because I was fingers crossed going, please be good, please be good. Like, yeah. and I came out of it just going, I'm not like super angry at it, but I'm not like super pumped from it. Like, mm. I came out of Black Panther like so like yes this is awesome but then when I came out of Ant Man and Wasp I was like yeah that'll that'll do like you know that's kind of yeah just gave me more questions with this one it just feels like you know everyone else stood out 
bigger and better yes. than the lead star. A hundred percent, yeah. It kind of like, you know, Sam Jackson had this goofy, wacky kind of deal to him because he's, you know, just uh, Agent St- Shield. He's, mm. you know, kind of super spy, but before he became like super hardcore spy. Yeah. That was kind of fun. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more going on. They did a really good job of de-aging him. Yeah. And he looked, Coulson. He looked good. Coulson, like, I could have stand to see a little bit better job more? with him. You reckon? There's bits in it where I'm just kind of like, yeah, that's no, that's a little bit, oh, you know. fair enough. I didn't notice that at all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, all in all, like, the action was probably the standout stuff for yeah, me. See, the CGI I action. I enjoyed the CGI just due to the comic factor. Yeah. So, and... I didn't, I knew it was CGI. And it didn't take me out. It made me want to see more of that, of her flying and, you know, just destruction kind of thing. And all in all, it is an origin movie. So yeah. I wasn't like, oh, this has to be absolutely flawless. It has to be perfect. I'm like, no, yeah. there's going to be a few little bits and pieces here. there, But there was just things in it that happened that I was just yeah. not crazy about. Like, we'll get into spoilers now. Um, so at the end, like, this is the good spoilers that I liked. When she's like, you know, fist, pump, fist yeah. pounding, like, you know, and Ronan and stuff are like, oh, let's get out of here. That was cool. I think Coulson, you know, saying, hey, uh, you know, Agent Fury, um, you know, everyone's gone. And then when <laughs> Sam Jackson's got that look of, oh, damn, you're not, you know, Coulson. Um, a few mm-hmm. other little things here and there where it's got uh, her and Jude Law. Um, that was kind of cool. The Them training, sparring, yeah. yeah that that was like cool. the start of the movie, I kind of enjoyed. Yeah, the start was actually not too bad. Yeah, off world, like that's that's my problem. The same argument I had with Green Lantern was, mm-hmm. I don't want to go back to Earth. Take me out into the cosmos. Take me out to space. Same argument I had with the first Thor movie. Send me off world. I want to see all that stuff. Like, yeah. but. Um, here's some of the bad stuff that I wasn't really crazy yeah. about. I mean, Brie Larson doesn't sell emotion too well no. for me. Like, I just... I, I didn't feel anything from her. Yeah, she didn't feel like... like There was no point in the movie where I was like, oh, no, she's in trouble. Yeah. I genuinely was like, all right, yeah, why doesn't she just punch through, like, you know, walls and stuff? And Even like... when she was, like, they had the flashbacks of her being human, she was still... a uh very determined powerful woman who became a very powerful superhero so there's no there's no down to her character at all like that i could see through this film like there's no progression there's no growth um that i could see and that's what i really love i love a hero's journey like you know captain america you know you see him go from this skinny scrawny kid just wanting to you know doesn't like bullies and just wants to get into the war and fight and help any way you can, and you just it's see his patriot. progression. Yeah. Yeah. So you just see him progress into this, you know, super soldier who still, at his core, is a good guy, a good man, and he still doesn't like bullies and still wants to do what's right. And plus, too, like, I don't want to size this up to any other kind of movie. Like, for me, in general, this just doesn't really get me as a story yeah. kind of element of, oh, yeah, this is kind of cool yeah. like it just kind of there's parts in the movie where i was just daydreaming a little bit i was like eh, all yeah. right you know let's i just don't like it when um a message is put across and puts down something else so if you have a message that you want to put up bring the others you know i think i think the tone of it like you know it was fine i don't like the whole sort of you can't do this. You're not allowed to oh, and stuff. Yeah. I sort of like, wanted it to be like, oh man, are you going to do that? That's impossible. Mm. That's what I felt like they should have kind of thrown. Like, you know, yeah. people should have like been like, even Fury would have been like, should have been like, what? Yeah. Freaking, you know, you're going to, you're going to fly up into space on your own stuff. No, I'll come with you. Like, We're going to need to help you all we can and stuff. Mm. And for her to just be like, I got this. Yeah. That would have been cool. But, mm. Just at like where they had the reveal of Marvel, and I was kind of like, oh, they changed it to Marvel to a female. Lady, yeah, which I was fine with. I'm That's all on great. board with that because Judy Dench as the Ancient One, 
That was cool. That was pretty cool. That opening of Doctor Strange was really cool. But like having Marvel in this, which I am a fan yeah. favorite of, they could have given her more screen time and a little bit more explaining, you know, a little bit of a flashback showing this is why I broke off from the Creed. This is why I came to Earth. This is why I fell in love with Earth. This is why I mm. want to help the scrolls find another home and stuff yeah. and just it kind of like it, it fell short for me i felt like you know you could have added another 20 minutes more to this movie that would have helped a little bit more with the story and they and... just i felt like they also lost moments mm. so when you and i came out of the cinema it was just like they could have done this they could have done that. yeah you don't want to be writing a better movie in your head yeah. or a better story especially coming off knowing a lot of these characters and just mm. being like that's where they went? Oh, the Tesseract? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yay. But wow. my little niggles were about uh, the scrolls. So if you read the comics or, or whatnot, yes, there's different uh, divisions, different sections of them. There's going to be good guys. There's going to be bad guys. But, you know, it kind of eliminates all our kind of theories about maybe someone's a scroll because the scroll's trying to invade. But now that's all gone. It could change. I think like I, I, I trust, you know, the MCU, like the writers, the directors and stuff. I think this was a little bit of a misfire, but, um, they've just stuffed up a lot of little story things for me. Like even, you know, it's always tough with these prequel stories. Yeah. Like it's really tough to kind of solve bits and pieces. I, I wasn't a fan of how Nick Fury lost his eye. I no, can say that yeah, now. I'm just 100%. like, nah, I don't really I care for that. I was a little mad at that. <laughs> you know, and then also too, like at the end, I really would have loved to have seen instead of, you know, I want to see what's on the other end of that uh, pager, what Fury was sending out a message for. Mm. Instead of Scarlett Johansson turning around mm. and, you know, oh, where's Fury? Like this very soulless very, kind of... Yeah, dead eye. Should have just had her come smash through the ceiling. Yeah, how'd she just, get into the building? You know, just dusting herself off like, all right, what is it, Fury? Yeah. What do you need? Where is he? You rang? <laughs> like, they could have just had something like that would have been cool. But yeah. just to get you pumped up for, you know, end game. But Or like her break through the roof and just like, this better be important. Yeah, you know, come through the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, just, you know, freaking, yeah, Captain Marvel's here and stuff. Save the day. Awesome. But, yeah, um, this is just us nitpicking. I think you don't really need it before end game. No, you don't. It's not a necessary movie to watch. Um, if you're already into comics and stuff, you already know that she has a lot of power um, and what she can do. So if you read the comics, then you probably don't need to see this movie. And it's fine if you love the movie, if you yeah. love everything for it. but It, it just doesn't you know. lead into Endgame. The, even the end credit, what, um, we were just saying before, of her just dropping in um, and saying, where's Fury? Like, that's an end credit. But it doesn't really necessarily lead into that movie. So if you're wanting to see Captain Marvel just for the basis of wanting to get a catch up before Endgame. Like it's just it's a standalone movie. Um, it's a her background, her you know, her movie. And also too, like, I don't really think you can go see it in the cinema, but it, it's not gonna change anything if you see it on D V D or no. like stream or whatever. But that's just our thoughts on it. And um yeah, if you agree with us or if you disagree, like yeah, like Yeah, we're both subscribe, quite nervous comment. of, of doing it <laughs> well yeah because like you know we, lots of controversy yeah we just thought like you know what if the media is putting a spin on things and yeah. trying to mislead the consumer it kind of makes me go you know what we really need to step up our game yeah because we're not funded we we don't have sponsors we don't have anyone we're just doing this for fun yeah we're just playing reviewers we buy tickets with our own money <laughs> yeah and it's just it's one of those things where it's kind of like if it helps you great if you disagree with us and go see it, even great. better. I Fantastic. mean, like we said, it's a good movie. It's not great. It's just good. Yeah. It's not like it, terrible, yeah. bad, but it's, right it's definitely in the not. Yeah. It's not. Maybe just below the middle. <laughs> yeah. But um, if you agree with us, if you disagree with us, like, yeah, uh, comment, let us know. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, yeah. Make sure you definitely comment below on what you thought of Captain Marvel. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.